Hello everyone, I hope everybody's doing fine out there. Today we're going to take a look at Indiana Jones Raiders of Lost Ark Adventure Series 6 inch figure. Alright, so I'm super excited to finally find the Indiana Jones figure. This one is like uh been impossible to find. We've uh we went to Target multiple times, GameStop, all the different outlets around us, and nobody has this, the Indiana Jones figure that we found some of the others pretty easily, but this one, the actual Indiana Jones figure is impossible to find. And we got lucky enough, we went to MISO's game room, and uh, they had just gotten a couple cases in, and they had a couple indies left. So we grabbed one while we had the chance. So I'm super excited. Uh, this is Indiana Jones from the Raiders of the Lost Ark. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get this figure out and take a look at it. We did do a past video on Belloc and uh, and uh, Tote. Yeah, that was just a couple weeks ago. So if you want to check that video out, um, we'll link it down below and leave a card right here. And now we finally have Indy himself. And we are building our arc so time to get the next couple pieces from indy himself all right so before we start the unboxing let's take a closer look at the box here in the front we have some really nice artwork here indian jones logo the figure um i love i love the colors of the box it looks really cool and uh, the side art is really nice looking you got indy grabbing the idol um on horseback back here jumping on that truck the truck yeah holding the ark at the ark in it then in the back we have uh more pictures of indy with uh the accessories that's all included with the uh, build of arc uh items and the background kind of looks like the map scenes from the movie which is really cool and on this side it shows the figures from the wave and what parts are coming with each figure to build your arc. So let's get the figure cracked open. And there he is. He looks honestly pretty cool. Yeah, he does. I, I like the right off the bat. I see like the the weathering and wear the on this on his leather jacket. It looks really cool. Now I'm surprised his hat. Um, I guess the hat is not removable. Yes. No. They said be. his hat wasn't removable when they revealed him. Oh, he did, they did? Yeah. So the hat is like glued onto the head. And the hat has a nice form to it. I mean, it looks authentic to uh, the movie. I mean, it looks really, it has war, it's worn, and uh, it looks really cool. Then in this bag, we have his accessories. Go ahead and uh, take them out of here. And um, let's see, we got his whip. This is like the, uh, it's kind of raveled up, but this is the unraveled one. And here's the uh, raveled one that you can hook on his belt. And then we have the, the idol here. Oh, that looks really cool. That's a nice. Uh, they did a good job on the, on the molding on that. And then he comes with a few hands. Looks like he has a kind of a relaxed hand, and then uh, a fist, and another fist, and the whip holding hand there. Now on the figure, he has a trigger finger, and then like another relaxed hand. And then we have the two arc pieces for the build of arc. And his pistol, too, which has no paint apps. It's just black mold plastic. And then he has the holster there with the strap for his pistol. So let's get in closer to the figure and take a closer look at and get some of the details of this figure. Um, he does have a satchel up under his jacket here. Looks really cool. Nice mold to that. The strap is slung over his shoulder, but it's just molded uh, to the top here at the edge of the jacket. So it doesn't, so in, in the back, you can't see it. 
And then back here, it comes on down the figure. So it's kind of interesting. It's not a se totally separate piece, but it does, it is loose where it can, you can uh, articulate the figure around this. So next up we have uh, the belts here on the waist and he has um, a strap here for the whip and a little peg hole. And you just place that in there to hold the whip on. Now, hope, hopefully that holds, it's not much of a peg there. Then he has the holster and then he has his belt, which the belt is molded onto the figure and this, the gun belt is not. Let's get into the face and let's check out the likeness here to Harrison Ford. And here we go. It's kind it is of hard. pretty good. I mean, yeah, it is kind of hard to tell. I mean, with the hat and everything. Yeah, because you can't adjust the hat, so it's hard to get in there. But yeah, not too bad. It looks pretty good. Paint apps, the, like the... Uh, Scruffy beard and stuff uh, look, came, came out looking pretty good. So, yeah, like in the hat is, I think the hat it looks perfect. I mean, it just the, the mold on the hat, they've got that down really good. Yeah. Definitely looks like Indiana Jones hat. And then going down the figure um, on the legs here, we've got some nice molded legs here with the pants. Um, all crumpled up towards the bottom where his boots are. Looks really nice. And we have the um, hidden joints, and it's pinless as well, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, it looks really good. And on the feet, ankles, we have articulation. We have lower leg articulation. The knee moves up uh, that much on the knee joint. And then you have upper thigh rotation. And then... Uh, his hip joints are on a ball swivel. Whoops. Oof. So on his um, hands, they're on a little ball joint, but they come off really easily. You just tug on them and they pop right off. Makes uh, changing them out easier, I guess, but you have to be careful because they will pop off. Then you have a um, elbow joint that which is nicely molded into the jacket looks really good and then going up the shoulder you do have uh, butterfly joints on, on the shoulders underneath there so that looks really nice and then the head is on a double ball joint so overall really nice looking figure I love the weathering on this they they did a really good job on this they got the the colors right and everything. Uh, his his uh, shirt underneath is a little bit shiny. That could be toned down a little bit and maybe have a wash over it would make that details of the his shirt uh, stand out more. And then uh, put a dull coat over it to tone it down. That would make the figure look a little better. But overall, I'm really impressed with this figure. It's really nice. And I just posted up with the whip, but it honestly looks horrible. I mean, uh, the whip was like raveled up in there, and now it just wants to curl back up into its like original state. So, yeah, we'll have to put this in like hot water or something like that. I don't know. It is not wanting to stay outwards. Yeah, we'll have to put it in hot water and reform it and extend it out. I think it would fix the problem I believe yeah it fits in the hand pretty good it's not really gonna fall out you don't have to worry about that um, I did put the pistol in the holster and it was the pistol was a very gummy plastic and very like uh, very bendy plastic so it was uh, pretty hard to get it in the holster but I did eventually get it in there and um, yeah I mean nice articulation it's not really hard to get this guy into uh, act, an action pose or into like a relaxed pose or any type of pose really it's, it's pretty easy and there he is holding the pistol it does fit in his hand pretty well and 
I tried to get the, uh, the whip onto his belt, but this, uh, this peg, it's, it, it's horrible. I mean, it doesn't work at all. It's like, it's not even like a peg. It just goes into that peg hole and then just comes right back out. Like it's not even supposed to be in there. I mean, it is horrible. So yeah, unless you have like, uh, some alternative way of doing it, you won't be able to use this. Yeah, it looks like the peg hole is too big and it's not deep enough either, I don't think, for that peg to hook, to hook into. But yeah, the main problem is it's too big round. So that's unfortunate. So this is like one of the main ways you want to pose the figure is with the whip, you know, on his belt, like hanging on his, off his belt like this. And you can't do that in, with the way the figure came, or at least what the way Irish came. Uh, because this strap is useless, it won't it won't hook onto the uh, the hole there. So that's unfortunate. So there is a workaround. We can modify it and try to get it to hold better. So we'll see if we can do that. All right. So um, we have a little bit of sticky tack here on the, the end of our Exacto knife, and we're going to stick that in the hole and see if that'll produce enough stickiness to. Uh, Maybe get this thing to uh, stay stay put. I can't get it to release from the knife. All right, so for right now, at least, it looks like it's holding. I don't know how long it'll last, but we'll have to wait and see. Well, it's not even, I didn't even get it in the hole. It's just sitting there. All right, so it's time for our ratings. Um, I'm going to rate this figure four out of five stars. I love this figure, and it's almost perfect. It really looks really good, but I'm going to give a star off because the the uh, whip here, the, the peg and hole does not match up, so the whip... Uh, you can't mount that on the leg, so that might be an isolated incident with our figure. But um, that's something that shouldn't have happened. Um, that should have been designed a little bit better. And um, so I'm taking a star off for that. But other than that, it's a perfect figure. I love it. Love the look. Uh, everything looks pretty good. Um, and see right now, the uh, it's come undone and the whip is going to fall. So, um, yeah, overall, I really like this figure. Really looks really nice. The molding is excellent. Harrison Ford's likeness is really good to this. The hat is uh, spot on, I think. And all the weathering and stuff looks good. So, Alex, what are your thoughts? How do you rate this figure? I'll give this figure an 8 out of 10. Uh, I really do think it's an amazing figure, but I'm taking a couple off, or I'm taking one off because of that uh, whip situation right there with the uh, peg. I mean, that's just absolutely ridiculous how the peg just doesn't work at all. And then also because of the this whip uh, came raveled and so it doesn't want to stay undone. But I mean, this is an easy fix. I mean, just put that in some hot water and it'll it'll do uh, what you whatever shape you want it to be in. But yeah, other than that, I think this figure is pretty nice. I don't like how his shirt is really shiny. Uh, I don't understand why they always do that uh, on their figures, make certain parts of their clothing shiny. I mean, it's it's really weird. But uh, yeah, it, and it's an easy fix as well with that. Other than that, I think everything looks really cool. The uh, jacket looks really nice. That leather uh, paint and texture look. Uh, the pants are really nice and the paint applications everything's everything else is really nice i like the accessories and uh the gold paint on the idol and the uh and the arc pieces look pretty good i mean obviously we'd rather take vac metal but um i guess for what we got i think it looks pretty nice i guess all right guys so that wraps up our second indiana jones uh, adventure series figure uh video I'm so happy to have uh, Indy in our collection, and it's an awesome figure. So uh, give this video a like, help our channel out, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and leave us a comment down below and tell us what you think about Indy. All right, Alex, take us out. Why did it have to be snakes? <laughs> <laughs>